not so jacked. Oh. I followed the nine ancestral <laughs> tenants. Oh, that I heard that works really well. <laughs> it's the best way. Yeah. Boy, when I saw that video that you posted, you actually sent me the video after I'd already seen it. I, I, I caught it like within three minutes of you posting it. Oh, my God. I, I saw it. It just showed up on my YouTube feed. I'm like, oh, yes, here we go. And uh wasn't surprised at all. No. I mean, it's all, it seems completely makes sense, but that's exactly what I expected. Yeah, it seemed like just a matter of time for him. There's no way you can look like that no. in your 40s. That jack. I mean, he's preposterously jacked. Do we have a fucking? Uh, now that we know that he's full of shit, we're talking about the Liver King, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. But a lot of people are like, "What are they saying?" This is all inside stuff. Yeah. There's a guy. If you don't know who the, the Liver King is, the guy calls himself the Liver King, and he's this guy who uh, walks around everywhere with no shirt on. I've seen him in Vegas with no shirt on, big bushy beard, super jacked. And he was telling people that the way he gets that way is by sunning his balls. He uh, he he literally lays down with his asshole staring at the sun and yeah. and eats raw liver and just lifts like a maniac. And uh, that's how he's so jacked. But it's preposterous. Yeah, too many polar extremes to have just like a unique marketing spin that was just highly viral, yeah. in my opinion. And I don't know. I think most people could see through it, but at the same time, he would. Like, there was a lot of big names that even reached out to me after the video came out, and they were like, you know, I didn't think he was natural, but this guy literally right to my face would say, like, blatantly, I am natural. And, like, a lot of people will take a guy at, its word, at his word when it's, like, a private conversation, and if he's straight up telling you in person, yeah, it's actually legit, I'm natural, and he was just lying out through his fucking teeth, seemingly. There's some people that are really jacked that are natural. For sure. Some people that are like super, super disciplined. They, um, you know, they're taking supplements, but all legal supplements that you get at like a vitamin store. And they're just like, they've never gotten off the grind. And the, who's that guy? Paul Sklar. Did yeah. you comment on him? Yeah, yeah. He actually uh, did blood work like immediately after I had talked about it one time and it checked out. Yeah, he looks like what's possible yeah like i if you don't know who that guy is he's super jacked and he's 50 years old but when i'm looking at him i am not getting any like steroidy vibes i'm getting mm -hmm. a really fit guy who works out really hard and has probably been doing it for 30 years yeah that's that's what i get when i look at that guy that's all feasible and possible now please go to the <laughs> liver king please show me some preposterous liver king physiology oh he has uh have you seen his apology no i haven't oh, i want to watch it he comes clean on steroids you i fucked up <laughs> i don't know i don't know if you guys are able to I just watch see the... his images though i want to see some images okay. of his body because his body is just so off the charts ridiculously massive that's okay but that's there's, like there's... unflattering lighting without yeah. A, yeah i want to i want to show some of him like jacked and lifting because he's just fucking gigantic. So he did cover the ab implants and etching again. He said no to both, even in his apology. Touches on it. Is it po I mean, I guess it's possible if you're on that much juice that your ab muscles grow that big too. Because the kind of stuff he does is, you know, very core specific. Like he's doing mm -hmm. a lot of stuff where he's like cleaning and pressing kettlebells and walking with them over his head and all that stuff really does ignite your core and if he's doing that all the time i would imagine it's possible that those are real abs but that was the question do you think yeah. those are real abs um yeah personally i think they're legitimate abs and the the etching thing i think is more of the controversial topic did he have some sort of like cosmetic work done to target locally the fat around the abdominal you know definition would that areas. make much of a difference though because he's very lean clearly if you look at his arms you look at his chest you look at everything like look at that image right there he's so lean i mean yeah. how much fat would you even be talking about and how would that make the the, the thing is the topographical map of his his abs yeah. the way they pop up like mountains that's just mass 
Yeah. That's where the question of whether or not that's real or whether or not they're implants. That's what I was leaning to is just like, I feel like his overall body composition is pretty consistently represented. I don't think he has like dis Like, I get that his. Yeah, like, look at him walking there. <laughs> just... like, the, the argument is they don't change in. Uh, like when he sits down or anything, the density of them and like the separation is so dramatic that it's got to be something. Yeah. And, you know, you could never really say if it was well done, like what did or didn't happen. I don't think it's implants, though. That would be really obvious, in my opinion. Well, granted, then it's like, well, if it's unnoticeable, would you even. Right. You know. Right. It's like plastic surgery. You only see the stuff that's not good. Are you guys right? able to play the apology without it being copyrighted? Sure. <laughs> We can play it for Come us after now us. And we'll it out. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what like the uh, Spotify copyright. Oh, rules are listen. Like. I think Spotify can handle this. Okay. Play the YouTube version. Cause Let's play it. Put a yeah. little bit up on. Yeah. If you put it Instagram. on YouTube, you're more than allowed to. Here it goes. Uh, <laughs> Liver King confession. <laughs> I'm making this video. Whoa. Let's have a terrible like sound. Try again. Is it a connection issue? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's happened before. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people believed him, including the Bell brothers, Chris and Mark Bell. I'm like, well, how, guys? You do steroids. Yeah. How, do you, how do you not look at that guy and go, clearly? I think Mark likes to think that a lot of people, like, he again, he doesn't want to put a... Is it working? or? A like a, a limitation on what's possible. Like he likes to believe that you could. And again, cause this, the problem with this too is a lot of people will extrapolate this out and then think everyone with a jacked physique must be doing something, which is problematic. Cause then it sort of creates this, right. this narrative around, you know, everyone's lying or anyone with a good physique, it's impossible to get there without yeah. doping your fucking face off kind of thing, which is not the case. There are certain individuals who like, I do believe that physique okay maybe not <laughs> maybe not that physique but like within striking distance of that in 0.00001 percent of individuals you could get there naturally yeah 